Hi guys, how you doing? DJ AJ101 here, and I'm back with a late night video for you all of my Geekbench running on my Mac Pro. And as if you look here really closely, you can see that I'm running, of course, on Mac OS X Snow Leopard. Uh, the Mac Pro Mid-2010 model like you've all probably seen in my unboxing video. If you haven't seen the unboxing, go back and check that out. And it's uh, two Intel Xeon Westmere CPUs at 2.4 GHz. 6 gigabytes of DDR3 memory and of course it's running the, the just just released uh, newest version of Mac OS 10 10.6.5 so what we're going to do is run the Geekbench I just wanted to show you that I have my two displays here and there's nothing running on that one besides Geekbench and Geekbench is the only one running down on my dock do a quick pan besides the finder but that's always running so what we're going to do is we're going to run the Geekbench and this is the free 32-bit version, by the way. They do have a free 32-bit version for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS X, I believe, even Solstice now. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll leave the link in the description. But I have I've yet to run a Geekbench on here, so this is the first time you guys are seeing it just like me. Just deciding to record it tonight, because I had some free time. So and It's almost done, and boom, there we go. And as you can see, there's the Geekbench. I got 12,836, which I guess is a pretty good number for the Mac Pro. We'll just enlarge that just a bit. And I'll just kind of scroll down. As you can see, it benchmarks and all the specifications of the Mac Pro. And it runs all the floating point tests and the memory and all that good stuff just to show you the performance. go back to the top but I just wanted to show you guys what my Geekbench was again it's 12,836 which is a very high number um, considering I think my MacBook Pro which has a Core 2 Duo 2.66 gigahertz I can't remember when I ran it on that but I think that's only about 3,000 on the Geekbench so this is at least three times larger than that so significantly faster with the two Intel Westmere Xeon CPU chips Anyway, guys, if you guys have a Geekbench that you'd like to share, uh, please post it below. I'd like to see what you all, your systems are running that you guys have, because it's always interesting to kind of compare Geekbench scores and just see what kind of pe hardware people have and, and what they're all running on their systems. So it's good stuff. But anyway, I just wanted to make this quick video of my Geekbench of the 2010 Mac Pro, because I promised somebody left a comment on one of my videos that I would be making a Geekbench of this Mac Pro. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. This video has been way too long. I talk way too much. And until the next video, you guys have a good one. Good night.